starts now. After a tumultuous 12 months in office, MSU interim president John Engler has sent his lengthy letter of resignation to the board of trustees. Engler was due to be fired tomorrow morning. The push to remove him started after he told the Detroit News editorial board that some Larry Nassar survivors were enjoying the spotlight. Mar McDonald live at MSU tonight, and there has been tension between Engler and the board of trustees, Mar, really since the beginning, it seems. Exactly, Devin, and that's because really the Board of Trustees likely would never have appointed him. But here was the situation. The Michigan legislature was so disgusted by how this Board of Trustees and how the former president, Luana Simon, had handled the entire Nasser debacle. It essentially said this, either you appoint Engler and get someone in here to clean house or we're going to withhold millions in state funding. Angler's 11-page resignation letter begins with, You have advised me that five Democratic members of the MSU board, including yourself, have requested my resignation as MSU president, the election of two new Democratic members, and the appointment of a Democrat to replace George Perlis has created a new majority on the board. He then details, in 11 pages, the institutional change he says he accomplished at MSU. Tonight, trustees calling for his ouster aren't impressed. Over the last year that he's been in office, very few have talked about all the great things that have been done on this campus. It's always him in the news for comments that are inflammatory towards our survivors or others. At best, it has been a contentious relationship between Engler and the board for the last 12 months as he fired Nasser's boss at the osteopathic medical school and then got in hot water for comments about Nasser survivors and their financial settlements. Current students say they followed the drama at the top of the university, but their day to day was more focused on their own academics. It does affect me when I go home because I have people ask me questions, but when like going to school here, like I just felt like everyone kind of came together when everything happened and they provided like a lot of resources for all the students and everything. He walked into a pretty rough, rough circumstances in a pretty rough position, but I don't know, again, not really my place to judge too much. Angler's letter near the close says, the bottom line is that MSU is a dramatically better, stronger institution than it was one year ago, and I will be forever grateful to all of those who have supported me this past year. Back here live in that resignation letter, he makes no mention of any of his inflammatory comments. He says his last day will be January 23rd, and he also adds that the board knew he would not be able to attend any meetings tomorrow because he's in Texas for the internment of his father-in-law. We're live on the campus of Michigan State University tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Well, Mara, January 23rd, so that's a week from today. What are you hearing tonight about a replacement then for John Engler? Well, the trustees describe that process as fluid, but Devin, I mean, you're not going to fire the, the interim president unless you've got somebody lined up or something ready to go. So I think there's a plan here, and I think we're going to hear a lot more tomorrow, but they are clearly ready to be rid of him and bring somebody else on. All right, Back make sure you. you keep it with us and at clickondetroit.com for more on tomorrow's meeting.